Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you have no idea who I am, my name is Chanel, I run a blog called ChanelFiles.com and over here in this very small but growing corner of the YouTube world, we talk about God, fashion, luxury fashion, we do some vlogging, we love to work out, we love to eat healthy, we love to take care of our skin, and last but certainly not least, we love to live the blessed life. So if any of those things are of interest to you, then I would love and appreciate if you would hit the subscribe button down below. And while you're there, hit the bell notification so you are notified when I upload a new video. So as you guys can see from the title, we are gonna be talking about what I believe to be five pieces everyone should have in their wardrobe for the fall and coming winter season. Now, though all of these are on trend for, again, the fall and coming winter season, these are also pieces that I think that everyone should just have in their wardrobes for the cooler months. So this is obviously gonna just be my opinion. This is subjective, but I think that I have a pretty good list of pieces that that regardless, like I said, of whether or not these are on trend, these are pieces that time and time again, fall, winter after fall, winter, I believe everyone can utilize. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys, so per usual, I have my notes here, so I stay on track. And of course, as I go through the video, I will be sure to insert pictures and videos on the screen. So first and foremost, this first one is gonna be a trend um, that we saw a ton of last fall, winter season. And now that I think about it, I think that last fall, winter, was when this trend started to like pop off and that is of course shackets if you are not new to the trends and to the world of fashion then you know that shackets have been huge and they are going to be a continuing huge trend this fall and coming winter season I personally love this and like I said regardless of the fact that it is a big trend this is something that I feel like man or woman boy or girl everyone can utilize a shacket in their wardrobe this is a great layering piece this is something that regardless of the climate that you live in I think that everyone can utilize there are so many styles so many colors so many variations so many lengths and price points to this particular piece because it was such a big trend last year that everyone is coming out with their version of it because it is such a big piece to have. And like I said, regardless of the fact that it is on trend, this is something that I feel like everyone should just have because again, it is such just an easy piece to wear. Whether you live in a warmer climate, such like myself, you're in California or somewhere like Florida, this is something that you can easily pair over like denim shorts, a plain t-shirt, put on a pair of mules and a cute bag and you're good to go. Or if you are somewhere on the East Coast or possibly even in another country or up North in our Obviously, you do experience true seasons. Um, this is something you can put over like a lightweight sweater. You can put on the shacket. And then of course, in the winter, you can put on like a really cute puffer coat in your boots and you're good to go. So like I said, regardless of where you live, regardless of the climate, I really feel like shackets honestly deserve to be in everyone's wardrobe. I have one from Zara that I purchased last year and I am utterly obsessed with it. I also did purchase one from Isabel Moran, but to be honest with you, I really did not get a lot of wear. Out of it I don't wear a lot of black which I know may seem kind of weird to say but black is actually one color in my wardrobe that I have the least amount of I just personally prefer more color um, and I really didn't get a lot of wear out of that jacket and it's actually listed in my Poshmark closet so if you are interested in purchasing an Isabel Morant jacket which is literally brand new with the tags worn only one time for pictures um, definitely be sure to check out my Poshmark closet down below nonetheless shackets yes they are a huge trend but this is just something that i feel like regardless of the trends this is something that everyone should have in their wardrobe so if you have yet to purchase a shacket please go and buy a shacket and like i said there are so many variations so many styles so many colors at so many different price points you guys trust me when i say you can spend thirty dollars up to three or four hundred dollars or more if you so choose all right you guys so moving along the next thing that i feel like everyone should have in their wardrobe for the fall and coming winter are going to be chunky boots. Nothing that I'm going to talk about in this video, you guys, is going to be like new and groundbreaking. For me, this video was really just to emphasize the fact that yes, these pieces are on trend. They have been on trend. They will probably continue to be on trend for coming fall and winter seasons. But these are pieces that I honestly feel like everyone should have at some point in their wardrobe just because these all do stand the test of time, at least in my personal opinion. So with that being said, again, chunky boots, 
we all know they are a fall winter wardrobe must have and you guys that is not changing for fall winter 21 and this is something that i feel like regardless of where you live even for someone like myself in california there is always going to be a time and a place for a chunky boot and there are so many styles you guys and so many variations so many just types of chunky boots i mean we could have a whole video by itself talking about the different colors and styles and prices and just variations of chunky boots nonetheless whatever your style is whether you want to go super ultra chunky like prada um you guys know that i did purchase the prada monolith boots last fall winter season i absolutely love them i still need to get more wear out of those boots so please believe as soon as the weather is appropriate i will be pulling those boots out um but again whether you want to go super ultra chunky like the prada boots or you know go a little bit more minimal with your chunk um there are so many styles and so many variations any style any shape any color any price you guys there are thousands and i mean that there are literally thousands of types of chunky boots on the market there is something for everyone so if you have yet to get your hands on a pair of chunky boots i highly recommend taking your time and looking to see which ones fit your style order a couple of different variations of boots whether they are knee heights over the knee thigh highs ankles if that works for you calf height like i said there's so many different variations of chunky boots on the market if you have yet to try them sis i promise you there is nothing to be scared of just give it a try order a few different styles and see which one works best for you. All right, you guys, so the next piece that I feel like everyone should have in their wardrobe for the fall and coming winter season are going to be vests. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't really recall vests being a huge fall winter trend last year but girl when i say vests are everywhere this fall and winter there is nowhere you can shop and i mean literally nowhere regardless of the price regardless of the brand there is nowhere you can shop these days and not see vests i personally think that this is going to be a continuing trend even next fall winter season because it is such a great transitional piece just like the shackets vests are very easily um layerable is that a word layerable it is right now um vests are very easily layerable just like the shackets you can very easily put on a thin t-shirt a button-up pair it with shorts right now as it's still quite warm again i'm in california but i feel like even on the east coast it's really not that cold but this is a piece that you can very easily layer under and then again when it does get a little bit colder you can put a nice little crew neck sweater under it your vest depending on the style that you have on on, and then you can obviously put on a heavier wool coat um, or a puffer coat on top of it during the actual winter months and when I say you guys a vest I don't just mean like traditional cotton vests there are all sorts of styles of vests cotton vest knit vest leather vest puffer vest patent leather vest you guys like i said they are everywhere and actually if you guys saw my um how i style clogs six ways which if you have not watched that video i do recommend checking it out but if you have watched that video then you saw that one of the looks that i wore i had on like a sleeveless blazer which um some could consider like again just to be a sleeveless blazer but i would honestly consider that to be like a blazer dress a vest or a sleeveless blazer but i could easily take Take that and make that a vest for this coming fall and winter season. I can easily pair under it like a button down t-shirt. I can put some leather leggings under it, a pair of stirrup leggings, which I definitely will be doing, a pair of Oxfords, loafers, the clogs that I wore. That is actually something that I would consider to be a vest. So like I said, you guys, there are so many different variations and styles of vests that are on the market. There is no one way to wear them and there is no one style to buy. And honestly i would not be surprised if this is a trend we even see next fall winter season of fall 22 because i feel like again it's such an easy piece to have and to layer with that is why i'm including it in this video like i said regardless of where you live regardless of your gender i feel like everyone can utilize a vest so if you have not purchased a vest i highly recommend going out looking at one seeing which one fits your wardrobe which one fits your style i personally besides the one that i wore in that um how to style clogs video i don't have 
have any besides that but i am on the market for one so when i do find one you guys trust me when i say you will be the first to know because this is actually something that i'm quite excited about because i just feel like this is a piece i can get a lot of wear out of so vest big trend but again this is a piece that i feel like regardless of the fact that it's a trend everyone can utilize this piece in their fall and winter wardrobe moving along the fourth category is going to be like a mashup of things just because i feel like these all kind of do the same thing in different ways nonetheless the fourth item or items that i feel like everyone should have in their fall and winter wardrobes are a pair of chunky loafers which we've talked about a pair of oxfords and or a pair of chunky slides so again i feel like these all kind of do the same thing but they do the same thing in different ways if that makes sense which is why i'm just going to group them all into one category um but as we all know chunky loafers we talked about this in my trends video and i'm sure you guys just know because you guys are stylish and fashionable so you know these things as well but chunky loafers they were a huge trend last fall winter they are a continuing trend this fall and winter and honestly you guys this is going to be a trend for fall winters to come i can just predict it right now because it is such a basic and simple shoe you can do so much with this style of shoe now i realize that loafers are not for everyone they do obviously tend to be a little bit more classic a little bit more preppy so again this does depend on your style but the great thing about chunky loafers compared to just more traditional classic like penny loafers is the fact that chunky loafers are more edgy they are more cool we are seeing the girls style them in so many more ways so if you are not a girl such like myself that is very classic and preppy with their style there are so many variations and styles of chunky loafers that are on the market trust me when i say i can almost guarantee you you can find a pair so chunky loafers like i said we all know that this is just going to be a continuing trend that personally i have yet to purchase a pair of chunky loafers but trust me when i say I have my eye on a couple of pairs. I actually did order a pair um, from Prada, but I did return them because they were too big and they were actually quite heavy, as cute as they were. I wanted to make them work, you guys, so bad, but they just, for the price that they were, I just couldn't make them work if they just weren't going to work by themselves if that makes sense but i am on the market still for a pair of chunky loafers like i said um you guys will know because at some point i do plan on doing a fall haul but i want to just do one haul for the fall and winter season so i'm trying to get everything together but when i do you guys will get a haul video nonetheless chunky loafers we know all about them so there's that next are oxfords now i realize that oxfords just like chunky loafers are not going to be for everyone personally i love oxfords because of course they are very heavily menswear inspired though i can be very girly and very dainty and just feminine i really don't like being overly girly and overly feminine i always love to have a juxtaposition between girly and feminine and fresh and menswear and chunky that is just my style i I remember years ago like before I had foot surgery actually right before I had foot surgery I purchased a pair of Stella McCartney Oxfords I feel like that is just like a classic Stella McCartney piece and I was so devastated that after my surgery I could no longer fit the shoe because they were just way too narrow that I had to sell them but ever since I sold those I have always wanted to get another pair of Stella McCartney creepers specifically um so I am actually on the market for a pair of those but those are very specific they're very tall and they're very chunky so if that is not your style maybe something like a more traditional oxford i know marnie has a ton of different options jill saunder has a ton of options and let me just say though i did just you know run down a list of luxury brands and designers that i personally look to um when it comes to certain oxfords you absolutely do not have to pay top dollar for a pair of oxfords i simply just mentioned those designers because they tend to style oxfords in the way that i personally feel like my style relates to the best but you absolutely do not have to spend marnie money you do not have to spend celine money or jill sonder money or stella mccartney money to achieve this look they just tend to style them in ways that i personally tend to appreciate the best so 
With that being said, Oxfords are a great way to incorporate that menswear touch, those menswear um, aesthetics and just feels and vibes to your outfit without going full on menswear. So if that is something that you appreciate, I do recommend possibly investing or just trying out a pair of Oxfords. And last but not least in this category of shoes are going to be chunky slides. Now this is something, again, if chunky shoes are not really your thing, you guys know that it is mine, but if it is not yours, just ignore the last few minutes of this portion of the video. But I do love a chunky shoe. We all know that at this point and chunky slides are just going to be a continuing trend for the fall and the coming winter months. I know that the row does a really simple, of course, because that's their aesthetic, um, but they do a really simple yet chunky pair of slides. I want to say actually H&M did a dupe of the ones from the row, but of course they sold out. You don't have to spend top dollar to kind of achieve these shoe trends or these vibes. It's just really about knowing what you like, knowing what fits your style, knowing what fits your aesthetic and kind of just moving with that from there. But if you are like me and you appreciate a ugly shoe, a chunky shoe, something that is just different and not really something that everyone is going to wear, I say check out a pair of chunky slides. And you guys, you would be actually surprised to see how well a lot of these shoes work with the things that you have if you just give them a try. All right, you guys, in the last category of things that I feel like everyone should have in their wardrobe this fall and winter season is going to be elevated knitwear. And I know, I know, I told you guys earlier, none of these things that I'm talking about in this video are going to be new and or groundbreaking. But I want to emphasize the fact that knits in all shapes and all forms and all sizes is still going to be a continuing trend. Like we all know, knitwear in pants, in bralettes, in cardigans, in sweaters, in skirts, in literally everything, knitwear, everything has been a trend. And like we all know, this really started during the fall and winter season of 2019, when of course, Katie Holmes was in the infamous Kate bralette and matching cardigan. And now, two years later, you guys, knitwear is still going strong. And personally, I am not mad at it. Knitwear, again, in cardigans, in matching bralettes, in pants, in skirts, in dresses. At this point, sis, you might as well just go to sleep in a matching knitwear set because knitwear is just that girl. We are going to continue to see her being elevated and being worn in all shapes and sizes. I actually have a knitwear set, you guys, that I got last year from Target. I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how much wear I have gotten out of that set like in real life. I am praying that Target comes out with a newer, um, just more updated version of that because it is so good. And maybe that was probably like $50 total for the matching sweater and pants, you guys. So you do not have to spend a lot of money on this trend. Zara, ASOS, H&M, um, Topshop, um, Everyone and their mother, I can't even think of everybody, but everyone and their mother is coming out with matching knitwear because you guys, it is such a huge thing that we are simply going to see in the droves, in the masses, as we continue through the fall and we go into the winter. All right, you guys, that is it. That is everything that I feel like we should all have in our wardrobes for the fall and winter season. Like I mentioned earlier, this is subjective. So if any of those things don't work for you, sis, just don't buy them. But I do think that I gave you guys a pretty good general idea of things that are on trend, but of course, things that will all stand the test of time. If you guys did like this video, please give me a thumbs thumbs up down below and let me know in the comments what trends or what pieces you guys will be buying into or maybe trying out for the first time this fall and winter season. Per usual, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, sis, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button down below and while you're there, hit the bell notification so you are notified when I upload a new video. Follow me over on Instagram at Chanel Files. Check out my blog, ChanelFiles.com. And last but certainly not least, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.